Greetings everyone, this is Spear and welcome to another Call of Duty 4 tutorial. Today we will learn how to port models in Call of Duty 4. For this we need an exporter program called Greyhound. Before you use the program you will need to set some settings. Just keep an eye out on what I have right here. Uh, preferably in image settings set TGA export format. So uh, in order to export the model itself we will need to have the game open and the level in which the model is uh, loaded in the game then the Greyhound program open, then we just click load game so it can list the things that are loaded in the game right now and there we go, this is the model, we can see the type is model so to export our model we will have to just double click the basketball here or just click export selected so let's just right ahead do it we can just close the exporter and close the game itself now, uh, in order to find the exporter model we will have to go in the destination where the program is installed, exported files, and then just find the uh, folder with the game name that you exported. So, Modern Warfare 2, X Models, and in here we have two folders, the basketball folder and the images folder. Basketball folder holds the model uh, files and the images folder holds the image files. Now before we go any further we will need to edit some of the textures so all we gotta do is just open the specular map file but first it would be great to just rename so we have a more solid and easier to read name and then just open it with Photoshop. So we're here in Photoshop. This texture of itself is fine, doesn't need anything but we need to get the cosine power map texture from it. So to find the cosine power map texture you will have to go to channels here and this one is the cosine power map. To separate this we will have to just save this as a different uh, file. To do this just select the alpha 1 channel, control A to select all of the image, then click on the RGB channels, all of them like that, and then control V to paste it. We can just do file save as and I have a, the, we have the images folder where we loaded the file. Save it as TGA preferably. Change the extension to Cos for cosine and there we go we have our images here and our model over here now to import assets in call of duty 4 you will have to use the assets manager to find assets manager let's go to the call of duty 4 game folder so we have the bin folder where most of our apps for the motos are located and there we go we have assets manager now assets manager is uh, quite complicated at start what it does is basically import assets to the game and if we click on PC convert here we can see that there is an all assets option. This is the RAM converter we talked about in the previous tutorial. Do not click this if not the first time you're using Motos. So now what we need to do is to create a new file and these files are GDD files. GDD files basically hold porting information for uh, the assets you are about to port. Right off the bat just save as, then navigate to your Call of Duty 4 folder, then you will have to go to the folder source data. This is where our GDD files sh should be, so open up here and then just save it, let's say test2 and then we can save all changes and all stuff that we are preparing to port. To create a material asset and import it, just click new entry while having the material asset type selected and then we are asked to give a name for this material. The appropriate way to find the material name of the model we want to import is just open the xmodel export file of the exported model with a text editor. To see uh, the material we will have to scroll right to the bottom of the file. Uh, this model has one material assigned, this is the name. We just copy this and then paste it here and click OK. And there we go, we have a material ready to be given settings, textures and stuff to be imported. Anything we import in Assets Manager has to be under the game directory. In our case we will have to copy all of this from the exported uh, folder and go to our Call of Duty 4 game folder. Uh, let's go to Model Export which is a good folder for uh, putting a uh, uh, source files of models we want to port and let's create our own folder tutorial I'll name it go inside and just drop the files that we have uh, oh before we just start putting textures let's just put the appropriate settings here we will have to put it as 
uh, model func this stays default this should be none error will not work obviously and then we have these settings we do not care about so let's just start assigning the textures here well, export tutorial images there we go there are our four images so uh, we are in the color map so we select the color map texture there we go then go to normal map let's go nml equals normal map then to specular map spc there we go and then cosine power map cos there we go our textures are now assigned to the material and we are ready to just convert the material pressing this one now our material is imported and our textures are added to the game right now we are ready to port the model itself finally let's just scroll down to x model new entry now i will just name it basketball to keep the original name from model warfare 2 uh, browse the file name of the first model and go to tutorial basketball you can see the path up here if you're lost and then we have all these files the files we can import are the ones that end with x model export the zero one must go to the first one and the uh second one the one ending with load one we'll have to go to the second one now we have to put some uh, distance settings like in what distance the change will happen what in what distance will the first uh the highest detail disappear and the lowest detail will appear in our case let's just do it 512 the last one should always be zero if you need uh, bullet holes when, sh when shooting the 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 model you will have to set a surface type here in the material part in our case it's something like plastic i'll just put that here i'll reconvert the material and then in the x model itself you will need collision load high so the bullet holes actually take place now our model is ready to be imported in the game i will just press f10 and there we go our model is imported and just like that, we just ported a model from Modern Warfare 2 to Call of Duty 4. We have the basketball itself over here. Now, why do the textures not show? I will tell you exactly why. Because we don't have a mod enabled and the textures are nowhere to be found. How can it not find them since they are in raw images? Well, that's because the game, the in-game version of the game doesn't look into raw images for testing not for list purposes we can go to call of duty 4 main and create an images folder and then just drag drop the custom textures here i use this only for testing for releasing i always suggest using iwd files and mods and just as i promised there are the textures the model is fully rendered properly ported and you can see the shine is pretty fine it's not bad not perfect but not too bad either the shine is there the normal map seems to be there the color map is obviously there and there we go that's all of it that's how you port a model from Modern Warfare 2 to Call of Duty 4